Broadcasting from Slough. Ooh, yeah. Streaming around the world. This is Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. Playing the music you want to hear. The podcast. Atom Radio. I am a massive cricket fan and we have now hit a milestone. We're into the 90s and you'll know if you're a cricket fan. The nervous 90s, that's what we've got. Hello, this is Mark Dedham from Atom Radio's Drive Time and welcome to episode 90 of the best bits of Drive Time. And this week, it actually really is Drive Time as well because uh, having done a week of breakfast, I'm back in my own spot now. So uh, this week on the podcast, the best bits, you know, like we've, We've searched hard to find some. And on the podcast this week, something unexpected. And as yet, still unexplained, I might add, too. Uh, self-assessment as well. I did some of that during the week. Laughing at something you shouldn't. And really, this is something I shouldn't have laughed at. And I, I do apologise if you are the person involved in this as well. Plus, I did come up with an absolutely genius lockdown idea as well. All that and more on the podcast for you this week. Enjoy. Did you see it on Saturday night? The SpaceX rocket. Did you see it? Like I watched it lift off on telly and I researched when it would be visible in the UK. I found out it'd be visible by looking at the moon. So I made myself a cup of tea, put my jacket on and sat outside uh, in the back garden looking at the moon. And I thought, right. I'm going to stick my uh, my phone on record and I pointed my phone up and I saw this thing on the phone. Saw nothing in the sky. I, I, in the video, I've got a street light that's at the end of my garden. I've got the moon, which is obviously in the sky. And that's all I can see. But on the phone, there is this kind of glowing thing which is moving in the video on the phone. I right? can't see it with the naked eye, but it's there. Did I see the SpaceX though? Well, of course not, no. Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. This is Mark streaming from Slough in the United Kingdom, playing online around the world. Scientists have reported getting so high on nitrous oxide uh, that it actually made them feel ill. Where did this nitrous oxide come from? Well, the levels of it, uh, it is more commonly known as laughing gas, the levels of it giving off uh, by this was 100 times higher than that in a fertilized field. Where did this come from? Penguin poo. Ah! Oh. Professor Bo Erberling from the University of Copenhagen said the truly intense amount of nitrous oxide exhumed was enough to send someone completely cuckoo. Well, there you go. That's a whole new meaning to p- 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 pick up a penguin. Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Monday afternoon, Monday evening, whatever you want to call it, 22 to 6 o'clock. I'm just looking at my own Facebook now, not our Atom Radio, on my own personal Facebook. And on it, it has unapproachable, but worth approaching. Now, I put that up years ago because so many people have said to me that I am unapproachable. Uh, They think I am uh, unapproachable and a little scary. Do I sound unapproachable? I mean, seriously, do I sound unapproachable or do I sound like, you know, Oh, he's an all right chap. Come on, be honest. On air at atomradio.co.uk, do I sound unapproachable or not? Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. A former high-class escort, not a Ford, uh, reveals surprising signs your man could be playing away, including coming home with wet hair. I'm probably right from that one then, aren't I? Because I don't have hair. Uh, So I'm probably quite all right on that like i'm never gonna have wet hair so that's never gonna give away anything and i don't have anyone to be playing away from anyway so uh, i've got nothing to hide anyway even if i did have hair i could come home with wet hair yeah! Mark Denham, Denham. this is mark with you through until seven o'clock today how's it going if you are back at school like you know you've done what well it's quarter past three now you've done three days so uh how's it going do you ever get in a position where you laugh at something that you just shouldn't? You know, like when somebody trips up on an escalator or something like that and you laugh at that. 
There's a, uh, a local news story that came out yesterday, and I cannot stop laughing uh, about it. And I know that it's no laughing matter. And apologies if this is you or you know this man. A man driving a mobility scooter had to be rescued after his mobility scooter and him went into the Grand Union Canal. Like, I know that's not a, a funny story, but I can't stop laughing. I'm so sorry. Mark Denham on Atom Radio. 7 to 4, Wednesday afternoon. In the UK, barbershops are supposed to be closed. They're not allowed to open until the 4th of July. And imagine this, a barbershop in Nelson in Lancashire had continued to take appointments despite government restrictions in place to close down all non-essential businesses. Uh, It was raided by the police. Now, that's not the worst part. One person was in the middle of getting their haircut and now has half a haircut as well. Uh, Footage uploaded and circulated widely on social media showed a pair of officers entering the property and one poor man sat in the chair halfway through his haircut has been left with half a haircut. Oh, no. Uh, Like All these people are moaning, I need my haircut, I need my haircut. At least you need all of your haircut. This guy has now got half a haircut and stuck with it until the 4th of July as well. And I don't even know if he gets fined or not, or just the barbers. Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. Kiss Me Through the Phone was approximately 12 years ahead of his time. Not wrong there. Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Atom Radio plays the lightning seeds and sugar-coated iceberg. Is that a cocktail? If it isn't, I think it should be. Like, thank me later, by the way. If you are a bar that's currently closed because of lockdown... Thank me later for that one. I reckon that should be a cocktail. I don't know what you want to put in it, but just like lob some stuff in a glass, shake it about a bit, uh, stick an umbrella in it and call it a sugar-coated iceberg. There you go. I don't know if you need to pay the Lightning Seeds copyright or not for that. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Mark Denham, Denham. I am thinking, as of Monday, we've been able to meet five people and have a gathering of six that are outside of your household, okay? Uh, We can do this either in the park publicly or in your back garden. Now, what that means, of course, is that if you have, say, a barbecue and uh, people need to use the toilet, they have to clean your toilet. That's the law now. They have to clean the area after they've been. It is the law. So I've come up with an absolutely, what I think, brilliant idea. I'm going to have a barbecue for all of my friends who have weak bladders. And I'll do this once a week. And then when they come round, they'll have to clean the toilet. Which means I don't have to clean the bathroom at all. What a great idea that is. I hate that job. Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Atom Radio. Do you know anything about the Apple Watch? Reason I'm asking, right? Every day I hit my move goal. And every day I hit my stand goal. Never, ever, ever get close to my exercise goal. What do you have to do to hit your exercise goal? And the other thing, right, when you go into your move goal, let me have a little look today. Uh, Where are we now? Half past five. Let me have a little look. Um, Flights climbed five. I'm pretty sure I've been up and down more than five flights of stairs so far today. I'm pretty certain I've been for more than five wheeze. Mark Denham, Denham. Pain, cheat codes, live forever. That could be on the same title, different song, couldn't it, with Oasis? Van Morrison before that, Brown Eyed Girl. Friday, the 5th of June at 3.35. If you could live forever, would you? I know that you can't. We all have a finite lifespan, all right? Some of us are closer to the end of it than others. The way it is. But if you could live forever, would you want to live forever? Me, I can't imagine living forever because if you think like, you know, you see loads and loads of really old people who are really, really struggling with their mobility. There's Alzheimer's, there's dementia. We don't have cures for any of those. If you were to live forever, it could be a horrible, horrible existence to be trapped into. Mark Denham on Atom Radio. Ah, that's the bell style sign of the times. I, I need to stop doing that accent, don't I? Every time I speak of Nicola Sturgeon, I need to stop doing the accent. Chris Malinchak. And uh, somebody, I was just thinking of the uh, the slogans, of course. In England, we've got... Uh, Stay alert. Control the virus. Save lives. That was Boris Johnson. Uh, in Scotland, we've got... Uh, Stay at home. Protect the NHS. 
didn't he have fun? And in Ireland, we've got stay at home, protect the NHS. Top of the morning to ya. Atomradio.co.uk Oh, imagine having half a haircut, eh? Like everybody's moaning about lockdown, aren't they? Massively. I need my haircut. I haven't got any. It doesn't really bother me. I'm perfectly proficient with clippers and it doesn't bother me in any way whatsoever. But imagine being that man that was halfway through his haircut when the barber shop was raided. Serves you right. Some might say, if I'm honest, it genuinely does serve you right. And then I want to go back to the weekend as well. Last weekend, SpaceX blasted off and I still don't know what it was. This funny green thing. Do you know what? If somebody like reminds me on Monday, I'll stick up the video or at least a picture of it on uh, Twitter on Monday and we can discuss just exactly what it was that I did actually catch on my camera. The freaky thing was I could not see it with my naked eye. Absolutely nothing was there to be seen with the naked eye. That'll do for the best bits of Drive Time podcast this week. Thank you, as always, for checking it out. Make sure you subscribe as well. I love you forever. If you do, keep yourself safe. And remember, as always, stay alert. Check out the show back on Monday on atomradio.co.uk and don't forget you can subscribe on iTunes, on Spotify and on Google as well. Keep yourself well. Atom.